some pole fishing lake in Kent, North Kent near Gravesend, which is a Thames Water and Angling Preservation Society club water, which I'm a member of. And um, three lakes to choose from up here, so when we get there, I'll show you the lakes and tell you what's in them. Well, here at Cobham, there's three lakes to choose from. We've got the main lake, which is full of carp, decent sized, roach, perch, lots of uh, lots of decent fish in there. Then you have, follow the guy, <laughs> down the bottom there, I don't know if you can see it, you've got middle lake, which is a non-carp lake, it's a match lake, so that's silverfish and the bottom lake, which I'll show you in a minute because you probably can't see it from here, is undergoing maintenance. That used to be a really good lake, but they're revamping it because it's massively silted at the bottom. So I'm going to take a wander down there and I'll show you what it looks like. So there's the bottom lake. That was my favourite lake. Um, but they've had to desilt the bottom because it was really, really thick with silt. So they've had to remove all the fish stock, desilt the bottom, and hopefully they'll get around to uh, getting the machinery in here to do that. They were supposed to do it earlier in the year, but due to COVID-19, obviously it's had to sit. But once that's finished, that'd be a great lake. And then of course we have, let's just try and get past all the undergrowth the middle lake that I'll be fishing on today. I might change the top lake but you never know. Let's see what this swim round here is like. If I have no luck on this lake, traditionally I don't really do that well but I thought I'd have a go today. Um, if I don't do any well, I don't do particularly well on this lake, I might go up to the top. I can see some signs of fish life already so Anyway, let's go fishing. So, I'm using today pole float, or float, uh, what is it? A midi bagging machine, which is has a carp top end as well. Uh, as soon as there's no carp in this lake, I've just got the silver, silver fish top on. Tip, should I say? Sorry, start again. Um, again, much like I was fishing in Norfolk, tiny hook, and it's pretty shallow only to there. Couple of maggots on and we should catch pretty much anything that swims in there. So, couple of maggots on the hook. And I'll leave the camera running on first cast because honestly I could catch anything. I have no idea what's in there. Slimy. Well, I'm putting together a good match weight here, um, as you'd expect on a pole. Lots of little silver fish, but um, 
trying to catch someone a bit bigger, so I might move in a minute. So I've moved to a different swim. I've got some lily pads to there and over there. Um, looks quite good. Right. We'll see what goes on. Looks like the old man's caught one over there as well. Perhaps the fish are starting to bite. First of all, let's climb up the swim. Big loft too. Come here. Not bad little fish. Oh, there's a bigger fish. Tench. Yes, I'm made up with that. Wowzers, tench. Nice. Tench. Woo. Wow, look at this. Beautiful. I'm well made up with that. Beautiful tench. I'm gonna get a photo of that. Not a tench. <laughs> I really thought it was gonna be a tench. Just a roach. Damn. False alarm. Bad little roach, I suppose, if you sit still for five minutes. Russian fur, I think. Beautiful little cushion part. God, look at that. Not often you can see a true cushion carp. So I've had a ten channel cushion today. I'm well happy with that. Hoping to catch more, of course. So I'm going to take a picture of that. So let me show you, I've caught a tench and a crucian, 
from that swim there the standardized lily pads got some more lily pads over that side but I've not seen any signs of life over there so I think I'm gonna stick with that happy days Chubs, much bigger chub than this in the river. Now that's my first still water chub. Nice. so far. camera off and along comes another fish another crucian this time day here but I think I'm gonna call it a day because I'm freezing cold now <laughs> it's been a pretty good day though gotta be impressed with that well that was a great day's fishing got a bit cold in the end so I think that affected the fishing I could actually feel it getting colder while I was sitting there um, but still had a tench a couple of crucians some nice roach I was happy with that best tench I've had all year and for quite some time so well happy so that's the end of this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one Don't you